my name's Ellen, and I'm in the second violin section. Hi, I'm John, and I play oboe. Hi, I'm Jonathan, and I play cello in the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. It was great coming together uh, again for the first time in, in ages to, um, to perform Shostakovich's uh, Chamber Symphony. I certainly was looking forward to it. I'm sure you guys were as well. Obviously, everybody's had a tough time over the last, uh, well, it's nearly a year now, isn't it? I thought there was great excitement about the orchestra being able to, to actually come together and perform and play together, albeit without an audience, but it's still very nice to, to be able to share this music with, with each other. Obviously, it was a recording, although we, we did do a complete performance of it. Um, it, it is hard to get the, the feeling of, of a performance without, without thousands of people in the hall. So I don't know, I don't know how you guys felt. I think it was it was great actually the way Vasily kind of prepped the whole thing as well. So we had the the day of rehearsal beforehand, and then a, a few hours in the morning the next day, then actually having, you know, you you've been told you are going to perform, and I think that in itself creates the the kind of performing butterflies. You know, you you, you know that red light is on, and you're going to yeah. go from start to finish. And that's how it is. And that was is quite exciting to still have that buzz, I think. Particularly uh, yeah, having, that was great. having not had it for nine months or something before. So uh, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. amazing. it's amazing how uh, you lose sight of it, even though we used to do it four or five times a week. There's nothing like performing a piece live. You almost yeah. just have to try and imagine an audience being there, I think. Um, but no, I thought that was very clever of him, how it was, it was very definite we are doing a live performance, so that was great. Yeah, yeah. I was, I have to say, I was surprised by the, by how it felt, speaking personally. It was like nothing prepared me for that feeling of mm. performance. And I really hope that in, in the finished product that goes out on stream, I I hope and I believe that that atmosphere will be there. I mean, yeah, so from my point of view, that was the most um, tense that I'd felt in, in all of the times during this pandemic. The feeling of tension that we get from performing, it just, uh, you just forget, you, you kind of, nothing prepares you for it. Um, like, like both of you, I've, prob I've probably spent plenty of time practicing, but you can't practice can't recreate that that feeling, can you? It definitely oh. gives it an edge, I think. Yeah. yeah. And that kind of driving force. I think especially that middle movement that really needed that kind of driving emphasis forward. I think that really helped in the performance. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of lot of pent up energy in the orchestra, wasn't there? Yeah. Having not uh, having not not played uh, not performed anyway for for so long. I, I always thought it would be a very joyous experience when the orchestra came together for the first time, and uh, I'm sure I think it was. There was certainly um, energy and 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 excitement, um, and as you say, John, you know that tension and uh, that that uh, that can only come from actually having to to play through a piece. 